A very good morning to you and happy new year. It's 2024 and we are so excited to be here today after a long break. I hope you've missed us as much as we've missed you. Yes, in case you're just joining us, you're new. My name is Stephanie Ayeta and this is why in the morning the hottest breakfast show in town and the hashtag that we usually use is one in the morning at y254 channel my personal handle is at stephanie Ayeta, and as i said i am not alone i'm joined by two incredible people that you have missed let me start with valentine <laughs> I hope wow. you did you hear a rumor or something? Did you see her on the news and some? I, I, so, so Stephanie is a newsmaker, huh? by the way. Trophy. Oh, she is a a newsmaker. Congratulations to the game of coffee oh, boy. Congratulations. Congratulations, <laughs> you know, I, ex I expected I expected her to highlight, you know, I'm an avant-garde yeah. journalist sitting ah, here today. Award winning. Wow. Happy New Year. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> But you didn't. She's humble. She's humble. Let yeah. us toot her horn for her. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who voted for me. I really, really appreciate it. It's because of you that I won the media personality of the year last year, 2023, December. And uh, uh, we're going to do better this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. thanks to this amazing people that I also work with. So, guys, you're the best. All thank of you. you. In short, you're <laughs> an award. You should change your title. Like, if I was you, that's well, bio, Apple yeah. Jew, Everywhere. award winning. Include and then I text people on Google to update for you. Know, when people are searching for your name, yeah, like, an award-winning <laughs> journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. <laughs> And those people who hated me, you see where you can see now. <laughs> <laughs> you see where you can see. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, uh, that's incredible. That's big. That's, that's not something small. Something yeah, to yeah. 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 Clearly, we can see what's going to happen. <laughs> and we are so proud of you. Personally, I'm so proud of you. And I know so many people who actually... I was actually... I, I, there's a place where I shared and I'll show you some of the conversations. And they even gave me feedback to vote for you. Oh. So they are so proud of you. And oh. we... Uh, Personally, so I feel inspired as well. Oh, so humbling. Big Thank time. you. I can't Where is the word? Friend. Where is it? I, I think you got it. No, Aki. Learn in school to now. I'm coming to get it. Man knows the story. But All anyway, right. we will carry the award. <laughs> it's All a right. letter to one and yeah, one. Tomorrow, right. we will have it we'll here have it because here. it's our win. Uh -huh. Yes. Can't wait, yeah. <laughs> okay. How do you, Valentine? Sorry, just l on that same note, let, let me just congratulate uh, Nick, the president, who is mm -hmm. the organizer of the actual FEMA series. So this was the edition four last year, 2023. Yes, so I happen to be on the team. So I see, oh. I see a lot of 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 amazing things that and sacrifices that he makes. So thank you so very much to everyone who is a member of that particular committee. Yeah. Yes, congratulations for a job well done. My name is Valentine, or at Color Me Val and Everything, and I'm going to say, Steph, but I'm going to to say, yes. Yes, yes. On to you, studio. All right, Happy New Year, everyone. We are so happy to be here from the awards to now being back. I think uh, 2024 is going to be a banger. And like we always say, be ready for an amazing ride. Today being our first live show for the morning, mm -hmm. for the morning, it really means a lot. It's actually uh, page one of mm -hmm. 2024 for us here at Y254, especially Y in the morning crew. And I'm glad that we are, we are back, both of us. So it's definitely bound to be an incredible journey. And uh, last year was really incredible as well. Uh, some of the things we did out here on this show is uh, to us, I think towards mid, uh, mid December, it was my birthday and I really received a uh, lot yeah. of love. How did that go, by the way? Uh -huh. uh, I, I managed to celebrate my birthday for the first <laughs> time. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yes, I did. Where? What did you do? Um, well, there's, there's a couple of friends and some of my family who took me out uh, and then we made a cake. And then uh, there's, there was a, a, a birthday surprise as well. So I didn't expect all that because... Mm -hmm. somehow used to hate birthdays but this time around we i received that affirmation of finally celebrating my birthday mm -hmm. so yeah, i didn't go out at a club or at a social event but we went out to an, an eatery had the cake and um, it was just a celebration that's my favorite kind kukula oh. That's yeah, there was chicken, kumbuka na ugali. Hey, I'm a zoom. Yeah, so it was really incredible. But then uh, we also had uh, one of the guys from Saudi who came here to perform for us and also perform for me for the birthday. 
Yeah, he's an instrumentalist on the team. He's a good uh -huh. friend called Ricky. I, I think we did a, rec a Christmas recording with him. Him here? Yes, 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 yes. In one Probably of the episodes. Probably it aired during yeah. Christmas Day. I don't know. Hopefully <laughs> it did. <laughs> yeah, so that was my highlight too for the show uh -huh. as we ended last year. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I'm so happy well. we are here again, 2024. Just uh, a couple of weeks in between. Yeah. Uh -huh. And good to see you two guys as well. You still look powerful and positive. Uh-huh. Yeah. Si si no 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 what? Guys, come on. Mm. <laughs> I've not, uh, no? So far, no, I, I can't see yeah. the cheekbones. Uh, Ziko tu vile zilikuwa. Wala? Mule maintain. Mule maintain. Ah, when you... Uh, Ujani angalia vizuri. Uh -huh. We will revise the story. <laughs> Bana, kidogo. Give credit where it is due. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Karibuni <laughs> sana to 2024. From me, Sako, to <laughs> you. And the team behind the scenes as well. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. When you bado kona Christmas tree kwa nyumba, let's talk about it. Okay? Yeah. Oh. yeah. No, no, mtu wana check up on nyuma. So, we bado kona decorations. I've seen you. Uh, how was your uh, Christmas or festive season? Mm, my Christmas. I, I think, okay, how was the Christmas? My Christmas was awesome. I've honestly had, I think, the best holiday from December that I've ever had. I ni mimi. Anyway, continue. Uh -huh. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. Like since day one, then they, all through Baka Jana, mm -hmm. I've been on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Baka, actually, okay, yeah. So I've been on holiday. I've really enjoyed it. The festive season uh, was incredible. We, I had family over Christmas. We had family and uh, we celebrated together. For us, we usually our Christmas. You know how um, when your sisters are married, so our in laws mm. and, and stuff. So now our tradition is they usually come to us. Wow. We are that close with our in laws. So whether my sisters are there or not, they come. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, some of my sisters are there, but uh, my in laws came, my parents are there, my, you know, everyone who was there came. We started cooking in the morning, you know, drink as they have how Africans would do it. Mm -hmm. Tuna rauka na chakula, mm -hmm. and then now we settled to eat at around three. <laughs> Where? <laughs> no Christmas in Anza, so, uh -huh. so. so as we're cooking breakfast, we're saying, oh, and there's and all that stuff. Took a sketch, jingle bell, jingle. Yeah, and then now, and then what we're going to hang up and get tisa. Now we start enjoying Christmas, we eat, take photos. We, we had a good time, mm -hmm. and even crossing over the year. Uh, uh, into the new year, it wasn't much for for me really, but yeah, I'm still grateful, you know. Mm -hmm. Seeing the new year is a big thing. 2024. Who would have thought? I know. Yeah. So no. we thank God for that. How was your festivities? Where my my December started off. Watching uh, kwamba ni kwana kula bana utingine smart guys. By the time I was I was finishing doing year leave. <laughs> I was ra just ushe ona mtu na tego kirigiji vanya unenda kumaliza lakini bana hapo tu ndio unaanguka yes that's how it felt <laughs> that's how it felt like, I, I, I could not wait for that so uh, I spent a couple I, I, I really usually okay not usually but when if I'm not working over the holidays I I go I travel to see my grandmother but simekwambia hapo fairman job sasa ndio ilikuwa inaanza kushika eh so I couldn't really travel but it was amazing yeah, then things just kind of happened. Had Jana, so Jana and Lingia, Kitanda Ivy. I was so afraid I was not going to wake up by the way. <laughs> but we are here. Hey, and, and, uh, it's been too long. Dili kwa dibe to mama SOS ni amsheni, ni amsheni. Guys, mkiona se, ni amsheni. I mean, I'm here really sahau. When you're in kwa na watege me. Oi, nisi. Anili pikampele. It's okay. It is yeah. fine. But it was, it was quite something. Yes, yeah, so it was outside my norm and it was amazing mm. yeah awesome so i get that all of us had a good time yes. you guys were engaged. actually towards the end of last year i kept on telling because uh, at some point i was hosting all alone and it was i and grace so we were alternating so i kept mm. on telling guys our men the vacation <laughs> and steph it's true steph i look on vacation because i ile a deep vacation and then finally Val disappeared so mm -hmm. I was the, I was like the <laughs> predominant host and until until Kidogo Kidogo then Stefa Karudi I, th I think two weeks later so I was like <laughs> I was a common figure on this show mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, yeah. yeah so <laughs> And then Oski, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I'm then I'm back. But yeah, uh, but last year was also incredible for me. I think I also traveled just Kidogo and then. But Christmas found me in the city. I did not leave uh -huh. Nairobi. So 
I was in and out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I managed to see some two, three people that I've never seen in like years. And it was nice reconnecting. You know, some of those uh, those people in your family are like, hey, yeah, like they're telling you that. Mm -hmm. I, must agree, I used to say this to your <laughs> mom. <laughs> yeah. At that time, you were a goober. You, you're not yeah. even aware of what was going on. So it was really incredible. So to, is to to hear. And <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we are those like aunties and time. uncles now. You tell me to cook one of diapers. <laughs> 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 but now yeah. we are the ones. Wanna to pee, oh. man. Only to pee, man. Only Gen Z. napkin or diaper. What's the difference? See, oh, the, the other one can be recycled, or the other one is not. Oh, we forgive you, Sapa. We forgive Shout out to you. all the mothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, all right, that's, that's 2024. For uh, what was your highlight, by the way, for that year? Because uh, I remember oh, yeah. in one of the, uh, in the morning's episode, uh, we did a mm -hmm. recording where we talked about the things that, were, that made a mark, both individually to, to my guests and mm -hmm. also to... Uh, in the political sphere and in the entertainment and sports as well. So what was yours that actually oh. caught your attention oh. as media personalities as well as just common people? Well, wow, that's a tough one. <laughs> what did you say for you? But I was the one interviewing. So, oh, so what was, I had what a was nice your time. take? What was your I take? I had a nice time sitting behind and asking the questions and waiting for the no, <laughs> uh -huh. answer. It's you. Uh, actually, Thank for me, you. there's a lot uh, uh -huh. that actually caught uh, my eye, especially individually for me. Uh -huh. uh, before I get spiritual, I just say uh, being be, being be, being aware, being mentally and mm -hmm. spiritually aware. Like uh, for a very long time, I hadn't I hadn't thought of considering myself like getting grounded mm -hmm. in God. And I think last year was a time that I found that like you just need to get grounded, and that is like expressing my spiritual p part of me. I connect a lot with my pastors. I. There's a youth group at our church where I attend, and I also like I'm, I'm part of the youth leader or something. You know, th Ooh. you know those things that later on lead to being MCA or governor. Nikapo, niko koyo nzia. So si church No way. Not exactly though. Not exactly though. But just being part of that crew of people who are spiritual, they attend services, they pray, they fast. That was like the biggest highlight for me. I had never done that mm -hmm. like deeply. So last year, I managed to actually hack that, and I will maintain. So the spiritual part of me was actually the biggest. Oh. And then um, journalism-wise, uh, was there any strong personality that I interviewed that I feel was a highlight? Yeah, uh, making friends with uh, Tracy Wanjiru. She's former NTV Teen Republic host. Uh, mm -hmm. We actually connected after so many years. Like I had met her way, way back. And then finally, she accepted to come on the show and just support me. So that was incredible for me. Especially mm -hmm. for entrepreneurship views, there were sometimes a host up close and personal. So that was like some of the two highlights. Uh, the oh. other one uh, that made international headlines, uh, I think, was when uh, King King Charles is it King Charles and Queen Elizabeth when they visited. I think that was a good one. It actually <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I was very close. <laughs> Absolutely. That one also caught my eye. And I remember at some point I was having a conversation with Marie, Marie Yambo. She's one of mm -hmm. the, I, I think you guys know her. Shout out since I've mentioned her. Uh, we argued about stories, uh, Africans uh, feeling that uh, their colonizers need to apologize to them for the atrocities they committed. Mm -hmm. And then I remember Marie telling me, yeah, Africans actually should demand that. But the person she was with also said, no, you know, right now you guys are able, you're on your feet. No need to demand for an apology from the people who actually gave you an education, English. You know, they claim they gave us English education system, political systems. That's what the Britons, you know, claim they did. So that was incredible. It actually <laughs> caught my eye. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? Africans, we, we are still resentful to white people till today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, um, well, it's the, it's what they did to, <laughs> to us, but we also have a lot of racists still now, you know, but not, not, not many are racists. I think the population, um, the majority of the population have accepted that blacks, Africans are just like them. And people are truly appreciate us uh, until you go to some countries that are very racist. <laughs> I've had at least. So, um, well, I mean, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Mm -hmm. We forgive them. Pole pole. We are just healing as a country, you know, only to find your way to, but we are healing. Yeah. So, what, 
what was your highlight value for nifikiwe I was hoping you're going to go on. I mean, it is a I don't know. I, when Sako was talking, yeah. like I kept having flashbacks of Aya, by the way, to Lienda Music Fest, Nyeri. Ah, Aya, by the way, to Lienda Mombasa, by the way. Eh, as in, I've just been remembering how all these amazing times that I have had. Uh, yeah. Yes, but the highlight at one particular guest, I don't know. But I have met a lot of beautiful people this this year then <laughs> last year <laughs> yeah people i still connect with see wow. raisi like see at it no nana to know the maswali bye see you spin real uh -huh. we're still actually communicate Connected. yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. that was kind of cool as yeah. a person eh, i don't know it's just been a really good was a really good year i guess okay. not without its downs but the ups were, were good okay it's pretty nice, so I'm lost. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. What's my highlights? Wow. To answer step, an step, award. Step, 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 Twenty twenty three. Oh, okay. But to Kosa, 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 it, it hits some highs, you know. Um, I got I got the media personality of the year. That's why <laughs> I got um, I got what did I get? I got to to go to COP twenty eight and in uh, Dubai. See well, in Dubai, in Dubai. What <laughs> <Dubai. laughs> <laughs> 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 are ringe pekeyake? She told you if Steph goes humble, I go proud. What are ringe pekeyake? So I'm here to drop. Come on, Vala, seven minutes. All right. So yeah, uh, I went to get to COP28 to network. It was such an amazing experience uh, being in an international platform, seeing what countries are doing in terms of. Um, uh managing the climate change the efforts that are being put in the different industry different sectors my highlight in that was what saudi arabia was doing um i can't start explaining but they're doing some awesome stuff you should check out saudi arabia initiatives saudi arabia initiative yes they're doing amazing stuff um uh, dubai is doing great you know when you see the countries that have deserts they're more like yeah, the better part of them are deserts. They're, they're doing so much, so much in terms of managing climate change. Mm. Although Dubai, we can argue that, you know, with oil, it's not so much, you know, good mm. for the climate. But there's a lot that they're also doing. Different countries interact with different people. You get to um, see their perspective on life, not just uh, climate change. So that was also quite a highlight. And, um, hmm. Kula McDonald's for the first time. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I do McDonald's for the first time. Ay, bye. <laughs> See, see now she's also dropping. Me alwa me mute. Let me tell you. Ah, me ni me angusha kitu dogo dogo. Where you are going with the? What are you asking me about me? Okay, what are you asking me about me? Okay. Let me tell you, McDonald's are the bomb. Just each kula McDonald's. I was wondering why are they in Kenya? Ilikuwa na zikula kasnak. Una tembeto viki dogo McDonald's. But it's very nice, very interesting. I had a lot of first time try tryouts. Uh, the Arab food, the Masao, the I forgot most of the things. <laughs> but How I'm dare you? Casual, but I'm casual. Enjoying, How yeah. dare you forget stuff? To recap this casual. whole week is for recapping. Yeah, yeah. But I have it on my socials. But I was able to post. You know, I'm posting. Oh. Because I'm going to post. 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 Because I'm going
Yeah, so interestingly, um, in Dubai, when I went, uh, it was December. So December was winter. Yeah. The winter is our normal kawaida weather here, only yeah. a little bit much. Wow. Nika <laughs> coast. Not yeah. so much coast, but Nika coast. Like the winter is like coast. Yeah, yeah. Uneza tembe lakini kuna jua. So the, the good thing about it, ni everywhere there's AC. Ukipanda the metro bus, there's AC. When you go to the mall, there's AC. So kwa mall utava sweater. And then when you're outside, kwa jua itakuchapa some hot heat. Yeah. You, una, yeah, you love it. So I was... Apparently, when I went, it was the good time of the year to go because it's winter uh -huh. and it's still yeah. hot, but it's not hot. So, we think we were just walking around, Vizuri, yeah. without sweater, without any stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but when you go around June, June, July, it's summer. Of course, it's a good in Dubai. You all love it. So, I think you're supposed to visit when it's good. And then, one thing about uh, Dubai also, it's the coming together of different countries. Mm -hmm. Since you turn to in Arabu, in fact, Arabu are in area zone. Mm -hmm. Flani, Wadosi, Arabs are very rich there. It's and they Arab money for a reason. Hey, yeah. They protect their own. Like, they, they are a country that love their own. Before you get a, a, a citizenship in, in an Arab country, mm -hmm. we'll have to have married an Arab person. And before you marry the Arab person, <laughs> it is mm -hmm. one... Yeah. I don't know, something. It's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. No, no, no. Hmm? I'm not saying nothing. Come on, come on. I'm not saying hmm? nothing. <laughs> hmm. So, so yeah. yeah. So, you, you get to eat everyone. Different yeah. countries. Pakistan. Island. Yeah. What to island on it? Uh, people Irish. from U.S. Indians. Who are the shawarma? Yeah, Indians, my no, God. We had them metoka kijua venye unafaku seba. Hey. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Indian food is also good. And right. then, when you think Dubai is all, all good and uh, beautiful, there are places that are not so much so good. Mm -hmm. So there's a place, it's called Deira. So Deira, oh, the place yeah. you're shopping. Yeah. It's mm. the Kenyan Isili. <laughs> only, only a little bit worse in terms yeah. of Unatafutua kwanja, eh, hi wadam, let me take you to some Gucci bags. Uh -huh. Gucci bags, they're fake bags. Uh -huh. So una what? Unapele kwa uko. They have fake Gucci stores. Eh. Gucci, ata si Gucci. Gucci, yeah, <laughs> so they have fake Gucci bags. Uh -huh. eh, so, and most of them are Nigerians. See hate speech, but I don't know. So, they don't have papers. The, these guys don't have papers. So, the, the, what they do is they, that, mm -hmm. want to promote uh the shops that are there basically what happens in kenya tata also what we're not inviting you for shops stalls mafta, and stuff mafta. Mafta, mafta. yeah so that's what they do in dubai it doesn't look like dubai that's that side of dubai that really downtown uh, as dubai as dubai looks like dubai but yeah it was actually nice the infrastructure is perfect the mm. architecture hey it's out of this world they have amazing stuff they have really invested the places of adventure, fun, uh, really awesome. The so Burj Khalifa. I really recommend it. Burj Khalifa is there. Okay, Refu. Si <laughs> the <Yeah>, boy. <laughs> Burj Khalifa is connected to Dubai Mall. Dubai Mall is one of the, the largest mall. The mall is big. Yeah. Yeah. The Burj Khalifa is very tall. And then up to Burj, up to Dubai Mall. In Africa, journey around from around seven. There's uh, some dancing fountains. Ah, it's so beautiful. Like all Corona couples will say, "Oh, next year." Yeah. <laughs> Lord, remember <laughs> me next year. <laughs> it's so well, beautiful. Like the, the sea, <laughs> the sea is there. What are we kind of fountains? And then that Burj Khalifa also kuna yeah. dance kuna happens with the building. Uh, la. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I, I happened to watch uh, the Christmas, is it the New, uh, the New Year's lighting? And mm -hmm. they were comparing it to the Nairobi Get. one. Shh. I think it is the most. <laughs> 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 you know, when compare. you compare the lighting, and also the, I think the Rockefellers, the New York one, the New York City one, they are trying to com contrast and compare the ah. Christmas lighting and the facility. Wow, <laughs> Kenya, we still have a lot to do. But at the end of the day, it's still lighting anyways. Uh, does it, it, doesn't mean anything. it doesn't mean anything much. Mm. It's, it's just marking the new year with color and poems. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Shout out to Kenya. We are trying. We are trying. We are trying. Next try. Kenya, my country, <laughs> my motherland. <laughs> yeah. We love you so much. Speak about life. <laughs> Have hey, no it's also a city of mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Right. Right from the sky, you see lights everywhere. The nightlife is so alive. It will yeah. be 3 a.m. in Akani Kama, it's 7 a.m. Right. The city is so alive. Really, it's it's so amazing, so amazing. It has so much. The people are so respectful. I think there are a lot of Filipinos. So I, the, the number of times I've been called mom. Wow. <laughs> I'm not a right. Kenyan should, we should step up by Could that. Kudei Rihanna, Namoto, Shuali. Rihanna. Rainbow. Everyone who's black and beautiful ni Rihanna. Rihanna. Hey. No, yes, quite a right. But we'll revisit <laughs> next year. Mm. Oh, this year. Why are we talking about next year, Chef? I am not. Sorry. What's your dream destination? A holiday destination country? Even Kenya, or anywhere. Eh, hey. where? My dream destination. For the longest time, it's been the Maldives. Napenda Maji. Napenda Maji. I know. Yeah, but I've also seen. You know, when you mona, when you Dubai, kona Dubai, alafu kuna backstage ya. Pia ni meona kuna tu backstage tuwa Maldives, so na naji uliza maswali. But anyway, with beautiful water. Yeah, I think also love Maldives one day, one time. Talk of it. I think I like Bahamas, but in East Africa, neza teka kwanda Zanzibar, apu TZ in between. So here they have very good sandy beaches, and beach E, E, C, E. H E S, please. Si bora kuna sand. We we got it. Like exactly. And there's this there's this beach in Costa Nete. I think it 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 was it was being cleaned recently. But I managed to see one of my friends who was there during the holidays. I'll remember the name. There's Kumba. There's so many places in Kenya. You might you might think you've been everywhere, but you've not. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to be at the place. I'll find out. Palm something. It cost. Yeah, at the cost, yeah. Yeah, but then the is cost. also a good place. For, for local tourism, coast is great. South coast, Diani, there's Nali. I think Nali. Diani has been there before, like many times. D Diani. It's boring for me. D wow, really? <laughs> yeah, I think Diani <laughs> to me is boring. Yeah. <laughs> well, different experiences for different people. Yes, 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 yeah. indeed. So for me, Diani is good. For me, Nyali is good. I think those are the places I've visited well in, in the coastal region. I'm um, going to Kunda as well. I'm taking Kunda Shakahola. Shakahola? Ah, no. Is it, we are, does no. it have a beach? <laughs> it's a local tourism. Yeah. <laughs> Lazima Kwena Beach. No. Yeah, I, actually, the main reason a lot of people do go to the coast is to enjoy the sandy beaches and mm -hmm. the water. Yeah. And it's hot. Hey, hot. Yeah. The coast is hot, hot, hot. But the, the good thing about it, you stay in water, that's, that's it. That's mm -hmm. the secret. Did you manage she to visit the sands in Dubai? The sandy, what are they called? The there's sandy a, something. Yeah. There's a safari. No, yeah. that's the one place I did not go to. Time oh my out. goodness. Time ran out. It's about to revisit 2024. Yeah, yes. we can't next, this year. Mm. Yeah, we have to spare some. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we revisit that. Uh, away from that, mm -hmm. uh, what so, stood out for welcome you? Welcome back to Kenya, Sans. Back to now Kenya. Done. <laughs> what stood out for you politically, the political scene last year? For me, it was Mandamano. <laughs> Mandamano because, uh, not because of the bad thing that happened, because people lost lives, and that's the sad bit of it. But uh, the fact that, you know, we could see the opposition active and. Uh, you know, fighting for people's rights, and it stopped. They they came to an agreement, and then later on, you know, some people not for Mandamano. Seeing people actually call for Mandamano, wanting Mandamano, even now, it's something that uh, I don't know. It's something that has stood out because people have seen um, the hardships that, that is there actually. And I think if people were to go for Mandamano again, know that I'm calling for it, it will be a peaceful one because now it's the same cause. What we know me, I know because we want to actually spoil businesses and you know the, and the other downsides of Mandamano. But yeah, so I think only one of the things that stood out last year. Mm. I don't know if this is 
very, okay, I don't know if I'm going in line with your question, but the things that have stood out for me in the country mm. is seeing the current president always very ready to talk to the media. That's ah. not something I've experienced before. Without See, I have not, not been alive for all of them, <laughs> but that, that stood out for me. And also how a country, a whole country, Tunisia could have blackout three times. Oh. Not once, it. not Tell twice, three times. Had the airport, the potter steamer. <laughs> that's that stood out for me. Yeah. yeah. This one bothered me. Um, the implementation of the housing levy I that that actually just developed into many other mini taxes, and now we have like ten taxes that have been implemented. Some of them are being fought. Some of them have already. Like it was, it was crazy for me, and that affected uh, everyone who is in the employment sector, mm -hmm. especially if you have a contract and you're paying NHIF and NSSF and the rest. You, ha I think right right now you can just call it a, statu a statutory deduction because it's now mandatory. So that one was so annoying mm -hmm. for me personally. I don't know about you and the rest, but yeah, you can express for me. I'm saying it was so annoying because. The little that you get now it's like deducted like three times and remember you have needs you have things to cater for you have you have to show up as well so that was annoying for me mm -hmm. uh 2020 before before the year ended there was also a lot of things that happened in between i remember mm -hmm. there's a scandal that tdjx was involved in oh. and it went viral it actually shook me by surprise um, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey launched another episode of uh, The Color Purple. Or was that actually in one Color of the what? episodes? The Color, the Color Purple. Purple. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a movie. You, you movie? should watch it. Yeah, it's intense, boy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> go prepared. Oh, yeah, please go what? watch it. Uh, uh -huh. Called Color year, Purple. Uh, yeah, the, the Color, Color Purple. Purple. It means something. But they did it the first one in the early, I think, late two thousands, and then they now have another new edition as well. Okay. And it has now these new faces of Hollywood, who some of them are singers and just syndicated people in media and entertainment in general. Mm -hmm. um, at some point she was mentioned into something, but I remember in one of the recordings we did, we were actually trying to argue with the guest that, you know, maybe it's also time that people start speaking up and we saw so many people that were sexually abused coming up to file for lawsuits, including the R&B star Cassie Ventura, who I used to follow way, way back when I was a kiddo. You know, the, so it, it, she actually created a movement of people who started to come up and speak up on sexual abuse while they were building their careers in Hollywood and the people that were mentioned, the names were heartbreaking from the rest of Tyler Perry's to the rest of the greats that you know in Hollywood to mm. PDD and the rest. So that is also shocking. And then uh, we uh, just think this week, no, last week ending, there's, a, there's an Alaska airplane that was taking off from o Oregon and one of the windows blew out and passengers were holding their hearts oh in their hands here. Oh. And it was a big story. But they survived 171 passengers on board with a blown out window. You can imagine the pressure in the air 20 minutes into takeoff. <laughs> 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 right. You can imagine. And you know, you are, you are up, up there. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was holding their hearts in their hands, but the good news <laughs> is everybody survived apart from, well, I think it was mm -hmm. a kid who, like, the shot was blown away. And you Ooh. can imagine, yeah, you can imagine the pressure. Stop it's your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The pressure. I'm the pressure I'm trying to imagine there, yeah. that scenario. Oh, my mm. goodness. So that, that was really shocking. <laughs> okay. Actually, mm -hmm. Really shocking. Just as we ended the year, like, so many things started happening. Wow. To never so. Right. Ooh. I mean, that's, that's something. I didn't hear about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm only imagining how scary that experience is. You must get to the story kwa Mkuru. Headline hitters. Headline hitters. Hey. And I'm usually like, ha, dear me. You know, <laughs> I, I, there's, a, that, there's a story of, an, was it the attendant, the um, hostess, mm. air hostess, who was blown out completely <laughs> from an aeroplane um, as you know, a similar one to that one. And then, you know, so everyone was there apart from her and then it was discovered that Alikwa blown out. I think Alipatikana kwa ocean, if I'm not wrong. I'm not sure. Yeah, Napata signal, yes. So yeah, well, that's right. And it's scary, you know, 
when you get to that so easy easy machines in metangazo and mkono have been damu and uh, yeah it's only god that's why we <laughs> pray before we move <laughs> <laughs> that's why before we move anywhere we <laughs> mm? apo you some easy machines were you created na mkono have been i remember my grandma what? praying and she used to say that a lot one and to be a gari na meondo na mkono have been damu tunawakabidhi mbele zako mungu I think every parent and grandparents uses that. That's a powerful Because prayer. I'll never forget. Yeah. Wow, it's true. Yeah. And, and in the plane it's just too much pressure. You yeah. can imagine 16,000 feet above, above. the sky oh. and the, the plane itself is a pressure machine. So everywhere there's pressure. Now add outside pressure coming to you directly. Was it being a pilot? Yeah. A so in that plane what happened? Everybody was gi- was given a breathing machine. So if you check out the clip I think I was checking the CNN highlight usually or some of uh-huh. the highlights of CNN. They showed uh, the, every passenger was given a breathing machine. So you have to hold on to it. Yeah. You'll check out it. It's one of the biggest stories about, about tragedy even on Al Jazeera. Hmm. Everyone was like there were machines being dropped from uh, the rooftop yeah. of the yeah. So that was scary. Uh, and it's it's a blessing that everyone survived. Wow. wow everyone survived 20 really minutes great. into takeoff. Hey, apende una una survive, una badilisha maisha. And you say you never you. Mungu akunitoa hapa. I will never I will never use the plane again. <laughs> never do any wrong i will never abuse uh, anyone I, i'll be nicer to nani na unaanza kukumbuka wao hiyo maadui hey you you reflect on your sins you go hey it's, hey, it's such a crazy experience but also what i learned as we as we wrap it up the power of technology from that because mm-hmm. the person who seated uh, um, uh, they were in the cnn highlight uh, the journalist highlighted the, yeah. the, the, the 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 person who was to sit next to the window did not turn up to sit did not turn up to travel so the seat that that was next to the window that was blown away was actually empty mm-hmm. yeah wow so it's it's miraculous and mysterious how just that happened you know one of those things you're supposed to travel at 10 and then you you got stuck on traffic so your the flight took off one of those Wow. Imagine ni wewe. Yeah. Hey, hiyo ni sema ni Mungu. <laughs> Mungu anaongelea shanga watu wake. Because otherwise how do you explain that? Yeah. Ah, it's crazy. Anyway, now uh mm-hmm. we'll come to talk about um oh, I don't know if we get, we'll get into politics or mm-hmm. our new year resolutions. So probably new year resolutions before we get to politics. We're taking a short break. We'll be right back. Remember the hashtag is why in the morning.